Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to backtest on TradingView Mobile. Backtesting is a powerful way to test out your trading strategies on, pr on past price data to see how they might perform in real time. So, if you are ready to start testing your strategies on the go, then let's dive right in. So first off, let's quickly talk about backtesting and why it is important. Backtesting allows you to apply your trading strategies to historical data to see how they would have worked out in the past. This helps you understand if your strategy has potential or if it needs some adjustments before you use it li live. So it's like practicing your moves before jumping into a real game so you're more prepared. Alright, so let's get started with the TradingView mobile app. So first thing you have to do is open the app on your phone and log in to your account. You'll be taken to your main dashboard and to start backtesting, you need to pull up a chart for the asset that you want to test. Just tap the search icon at the top, type in the name or ticket of the asset and select it. Once your chart is open, the next step is choosing a time frame that aligns with your strategy. For example, if you're backtesting a day trading strategy, you might want to set up your chart to a 5 minute or 15 minute time frame. So just tap on the time frame selector at the top of the screen and choose your preferred time. And then adjust your chart to show that period. So now that your chart is set, it's time to add any indicators or drawing tools your strategy requires. To add an indicator, tap on the indicators icon at the bottom of the screen. You can choose from popular indicators like moving averages, RSI, or MACD. Or just search for a specific indicator that you have in mind and add them to your chart so as you can see, they can interact with the price data. So if your strategy relies on drawing trend lines, support and resistance level, use the drawing tools option, which you'll find at the bottom of the screen. So just select the tool that you need, like the trend line or horizontal line, and draw directly on the chart. Now comes the fun part. Let's go back in time and start testing. In TradingView Mobile, you can scroll back through the chart manually Simply press and drag the chart to the left to go back to an earlier time period. Go back as far as you need to test your strategy effectively, whether it's days, weeks, or even months in the past. So once you've scrolled back, you are ready to stimulate your trades based on your strategy. Here's how you can do it step by step. First, observe your entry signal based on the indicators or chart patterns you've set up. For example, if you're looking for an EMA crossover, wait for the crossover point before marking it as a trade. When you spot the trade setup, note that the entry price on the chart, you can use the price label tool from the drawing menu to mark this point. Next is set your stop loss and take profit levels based on your strategy. Use horizontal lines or price labels to mark these levels so you can see them clearly on the chart. After making these points, slide the chart forward candle by candle to see how the trade would have played out. So as you move forward, Track each trade's result, whether it hit your take profit, stop loss, or ended up neutral. Note down your entry and exit, exit and result for each trade in a notebook or in your phone's notes app. This way you can analyze your trades afterward to see how well your strategy performed over a series of trades. If you notice patterns or consistent outcomes, like frequent stop loses, it might mean that your stop loss level needs adjusting or that you need to fine tune your entry criteria. 
So here are a few tips to make the backtesting process smoother on TradingView Mobile. First is a zoom in and out on the chart to get a clear view of your trades and make it easier to see patterns. Pinch your screen to zoom and tap to adjust. Second is try different time frames to see if your strategy performs better on one over the other. Sometimes a strategy that works well on the 5 minute chart may struggle on the 1 hour chart. Finally, take your time and be patient. Don't rush the backtesting process. The more careful you are with each trade, the more accurate your backtesting results will be. Once you've tested your strategy with one set of indicators, try experimenting with different indicators or combinations of them. For instance, if you're using RSI and MACD or Bollinger Bands to see if they give you better confirmation on entries and exits. Try out different setups that help you identify which indicators work best for different market conditions. And as you go through each simulated trade, it helps or it's helpful to record key metrics beyond just win or loss. Note down your risk to reward ratio, average win rate, and maximum drawdown. These metrics will give you a clearer picture of your strategy's performance and help you make data-driven adjustments. And finally, after completing your backtest, take some time to review the results and look for patterns. Identify any weaknesses in the strategy, like where it underperforms or trades too frequently. More from here, Refine your strategy by adjusting entry points, stop loss levels, or even tweaking indicator setting. Continuous refinement will help you get a strategy that's reliable and suited to your trading style. So that's how you backtest on TradingView Mobile. To recap, we talked about setting up your chart, adding indicators, going back in time, simulating trades, and tracking results. Remember, backtesting is all about practice, patience, and getting comfortable with your strategy. The more you backtest, the more confident you will be when it's time, when it's time to trade live. If you find this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more trading tutorials. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!